Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to tell you all about my latest lock wash routine. If you're interested in seeing how I retwist my locks, make sure you pay attention to the cards, which are the links that I put above here. Make sure you check those out after you watch the video. That will help you out and supplement some of the things that I talk about here in this video. So first, I like to make sure that my locks are fully saturated. They need to be soaking, dripping wet before I put any shampoo, any conditioner in it. By doing that, I'm lessening the chances of product buildup. I've been dealing with a little bit of extra itchiness, which I, you know, don't appreciate. So every now and then when I'm dealing with that, which is typically around the changes of the seasons or changes of the weather, I should say, and I use Sulfur 8 shampoo. I'm sure you guys remember this shampoo. It's kind of like old school, right? Yeah, people don't really talk about this anymore, but it works for me, so I'll still be using it. First, I massage the shampoo into my scalp with my hands, and then I use my new favorite thing, this shampoo brush, which is from Vanity Planet. Stay tuned, I have some discount codes for you at the end of the video and in the description box. So what this does is it has these firm yet flexible bristles, I guess, and you turn it on and it vibrates and it, and it massages your scalp. You just use it in small circles like I did here in this video and you're exfoliating your scalp, basically. People forget that you need to exfoliate your scalp. Your scalp is skin just like your face and your body is. So, just like you exfoliate your face and body, you gotta exfoliate your scalp too. So, this is really good for that. It helps to remove, you know, still stubborn flakes and dandruff and really reveals healthy, rejuvenated, new, born skin. So, yeah, I like to use this. I've been using it for a while now and I've been noticing whenever I don't use it, I have to wash my hair the next day or I don't really have to but I just want to wash my hair again because I just didn't get that feeling that I got like I got when, when I used the brush so I really like it. It uses AA batteries or just one battery actually. Yeah. I make sure to fully wash it out, let the water really get into my locks. I have one of those shower heads that you can remove and you know put it up close and personal so it works as a massager and a cleaner so I use that the shower head and really really make sure that I'm cleaning my my scalp and hair as much as I can I even use the brush to help massage my locks it's like you know like our locks they tend to hold product they do they do so the, the more massaging that you can do while you're washing the better and cleaner your hair will be afterwards because you're gonna be able to get all of that stubborn gunk and build up that you wouldn't be able to get out otherwise. If any of you are curious as to what conditioner I used, I used Pantene Truly Natural Hair Deep Conditioner, this one. And this is my favorite right now. I don't really have favorite shampoos and conditioners and products like that, and moisturizers. Well, moisturizers I do. I'll have a separate video about my favorite moisturizers that's coming soon, okay? But, um, yeah, I'm not really picky, but this has been good to me, so, you know, I won't complain. I like this one. I don't use conditioner every wash, unless that's a, a big thing people ask me. I don't condition my locks every single time because that can cause buildup, because let's be honest, we're not getting rid of all of the product as much as we think we are. So I don't use conditioner every single time, but when I do use it, I make sure to thoroughly wash it out. I, I try my best. A lot of people tend to just put the conditioner on their hair and scalp and then wash it off like after a few minutes. But me, I like to actually massage the conditioner in. I massage it in my scalp. I use the brush to help me massage it in. I massage it into my hair with my hands as well. And I make sure that my locks are feeling, you know, extra moisturized and soft and manageable like how I like it to feel. Especially since I have color treated hair and speaking of which, yeah, I'm due for a touch up. Do you see all of this new growth? Yeah, I'm gonna color it soon. Again, I um, take my time to wash it out because you know these products can stay in our locks. So I make sure that I, you know, thoroughly rinse it out. I make sure to squeeze it. I don't wring it because I want to, you know, make sure that my locks stay strong. But when you wring, you can really be thinning out your locks and you don't want that. You don't want your locks to break. You don't want them to, you know, 
fall out and be brittle so I just squeeze the water out as much as I can and then I use a microfiber towel to take out the excess water and that's really it that's how I wash my locks use the coupon code lock talk and get your discount on your scalp brush thank you all for watching if you are in the New York City area make sure that you're out in Brooklyn on December 12th that's this coming Saturday make sure you're there at Gabby Tab's holistic center it's going to be a pre Kwanzaa event I'll be selling my love light and locks accessories so get your accessories live and in the flesh you know the pay shipping charges so if you're in New York City come out show love we can chat you know it, it can be a meet and greet at the same time you know there'll be a ton of other vendors and activities going on check out the flyer I have it links below okay make sure you thumbs this video up leave me a comment below subscribe and share my upcoming videos you don't want to miss thanks for watching love light and locks you said that my eyes are telling me something you can never see